Joining me now at the desk, live is the Education Minister, Jason Clare. So we heard in Trudy's report, a bit of a difference in what the Prime Minister is saying before the election, no intention of making mm. any super changes now. There won't be any major changes. Are we talking a broken promise here? Well, I think he made it clear no decisions have been made and no major changes are going to be made. You know, the Labor Party is the party of superannuation. We created it. You know, we've built it up. We want to protect it. At its core, what this debate is all about is what superannuation should be about. It should be for your retirement. And, and that's the, the essence of this debate that's happening now, what it should be about. So it sounds like a pretty clear shift in language, though. Why not own it and say, well, we've changed our mind. We want to rein it in. Well, I think, and this is not just Albo, but Jim's made this point as well. First, it's important to, to make clear in legislation what super's about. You know, we know that not everybody agrees in this building what super should be about. The Liberal Party opposed superannuation from its conception. They voted against it in this parliament. Uh, under John Howard, they froze it. Under Tony Abbott, they froze it as well. You know, there's, there's politicians in this building sitting pretty on 15% super or more, while the rest of the country is on 10%. Every Aussie in this country has less super in, in their account than they should because the Liberal Party froze it time after time after time. So we want to, we want to put in law what super is all about making sure that you keep it for a comfortable and, 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 a, and, a, and a, you know, a, um, a dignified retirement. But also, Jim's made the point that the average amount of super for the average Aussie is about 150 grand. But for 1% of Australians, they've got more than $3 million in their super. I don't know about you, mate. I don't have more than $3 million in my super. I guess you don't either. Um, and he's saying, let's have a conversation about whether the same tax arrangements should be in place for someone who's got three, four or five million dollars in their super as someone who's got 150 grand. Yeah, that's fine, but why not have a conversation before the election? Oh, well, I think we, we, we want to have that conversation now, see what Aussies think. And so then there's got to be an acceptance it's a broken promise, doesn't it? Oh, well, because Al Anthony Albanese before says... We've said we have no intention of making any super changes. That's pretty clear. Yeah. And then now, Kieran, well, we're going to make some changes for those on three, four, five million. We haven't made million. any decisions at all, right? There's been no decision made. But it's, uh, a, decent, it's a decent kite. You're uh, flying a pretty good kite. It's like that, uh, that Chinese balloon. This, is a, this kite's well, it, flying and everyone's noticing it. Shouldn't we be able to have conversations in this country? You know, I, I think it's a, it's a legitimate thing to say we want superannuation to be sustainable yeah, over the long term. We want more Aussies to have more super. We want more Aussies to be able to have a dignified, comfortable retirement. So if we need to have a look at certain changes to it, let's have a conversation you, about you, it. nothing you, more than are that. Are you willing to also have a conversation about it and just be, be up front and say, OK, well, that's a, that's a change of position. That's a broken promise. We well, said there wouldn't be a change because no, but, for but, those but, that but, have but got hang all... hang on, Kieran. Hang on, hang on. I said there's been no decision made. Right? I, I know the Liberal Party are hyperventilating about this, right? When they were in power, they, they increased the taxes on super by $5 billion. And now they're hyperventilating on this. They are dripping with hypocrisy here. You know, as I said at the start, there's always going to be a fight on superannuation in this building because we created it and they hate it. They hate the idea of it. They voted against it at the start. Every time they get a chance, they freeze it. And it means Aussies retire with less. Yeah. That's just the truth. That's not me making a political point. That is just a fact. But you can see why... You're saying that Liberals are hyperventilating, but you can see why people, not just the Liberals, but more broadly, are saying, what are they going to do? Because your superannuation, well, your, your retirement, your next nest egg, people have a lot of viewers watching today going, what's happening to my, my money? Because well, you put it away, you want to have certainty well, about me, it. You know, Jim made the point that 1% of Australians have more than $3 million in their super. Do you have more than $3 million in your super? <laughs> the, the questions are going this way. These are the questions that people might ask, and I suspect 99% of Australians will say no, OK? Yeah. No decisions have been made. No major changes to super are going to be made. But what Jim said in a couple of interviews yesterday is the average Aussie's got 150 grand in their super, 1% of Aussies have got more than $3 million. And so he said, let's have a conversation about it. What are the best tax arrangements there to make it sustainable in the long term? That's all he said. It sounds like it's happening. It's not like he's, uh, he's not the shadow minister for 
facilities is the treasurer. He certainly is. Uh, so it sounds like it sounds like it's treasurer. It sounds like it's happening. And, and, and Albo hasn't been secretly sworn in as the treasurer either. <laughs> well, it sounds like it's happening to me. But uh, the treasurer says that the prime minister is saying uh, no major changes. Well, minor changes are coming. You might call them minor, but for those with three, four, five million dollar super accounts, maybe you, you, not. You're getting worried, are you, Kieran? Maybe not. not maybe not minor. <laughs>